Man. You really are some kind of vague fighting machine, aren't you? Ran- ran an entire cabaret club for two entire shifts. Zero effect on the overall hunger meter. Damn. I think there's nothing... I think I have zero quests left to do around here. And I'm also not entirely sure how to find properties that I can buy yet. So rather than scrounge through that- through that and constantly commit to this one minigame for too long, Let's, uh, let's go to our neighborhood story thing happening right over here. Also, that's why there was a blockage in the road, was just so that I would encounter... ...an oddly well-timed ending to the previous storyline. That was actually pretty- that seemed thoughtful how it was set up, but then also, like, they- we wander into that cabaret thing... ...minutes away from where we were going. Oh. Partner? Don Soba. This business might make a good partner. 40 fans. For 6,000 yen. Alright. Empire with the business. Looks like we have more fans in the Fresh League now. Okay. Wait, can like can I partner with like every single random business? Oh no. This is how you get me to redo what I was doing before in Zero, where I just rub my face against every single business to see which ones I can partner with. <laughs> Except that in that case I was like buying every business. Ah, I didn't know I'd go in there. I don't know why I'm reacting that way. Can I partner with this place? I don't think I fully understand. It's fine. No, we're getting distracted. Story time. Oh, hey, hey guy. No, nope, not you either. We're going back to the story. We're going back to the goddamn story. Ah. There we go. Hey, you want to partner with me? <laughs> story people? <laughs> ほっといて。なんであんたはそうやって無茶すんの。ママが何も話してくれへんからやないか。何でも言うてるやんか。あんたの両親とヤクザは関係ないって。だったら教えてよ。私の本当の親は誰なの。もうこの話はええわ。と
勝手にしろ Starting to wonder whether or not Majima even actually appears in this story at any point, or if he's just got a weird mini game on the side to tide us over again, kind of like last time a little bit. He clearly, he's clearly really important to the story eventually, otherwise they wouldn't have felt the need to so heavily re like give him a backstory in Yakuza 0, where he was kind of just a thug that shows up a few times that was, you know, entertaining in Yakuza 1, but he was just another character. But he's so emphasized in Zero, and he's on the covers of a bunch of the games, I think. Uh, so he must become really important in one of these games at some point, and probably stays that way from that point forward. But I don't know. That was a whole chapter? Oh. どうしたんだ大丈夫よちょっとめまいがしただけまだ熱が引いてないんだなうるさいちょっとそこまで行くだけだおうしぇ oh, is it Reina's? Oh no, it's all dusty and sad in here now. Oh, I recognize the layout. ここはどこ俺の馴染みの店だったところだ。無理してついてくるからこうなるんだ。休めばすぐに良くなるわ。あれから営業はしてないようだが、電気は使えるようだ。This is Kashiwaki, Kiryu. Are you alright? I guess I shouldn't be surprised that the chapter was over that fast. They did prompt me- I, I, I shouldn't be that surprised because they prompted me to save, which is what that means, but... I guess, yeah, her taking a bullet and us nursing her back up was actually the entire chapter, more or less, wasn't it? Hey. Yeah, glad to hear your, fa your voice, Kashiwaki-san. Where are you now? I just got back to Kamurocho. I'm getting some crazy reports out of Kansai. What the hell happened down there? Chairman Goda and Daigo were abducted, and I don't know who's behind it yet. I'll head down to Tojo HQ to fill you in. Good plan. I'll round up the officers. They'll want to hear this. Guess it's time to catch a cab. You now have access to a hideout. Hmm. What does this mean? So I just got the Cabaret Club minigame, but it's in Sotan Bori. And now I'm in Kamurocho for who knows how long. I'm curious how that manifests, or how I engage with that from here. Do I have a satellite location here? She was really pushing herself. I'll let her get some rest. Man, she doesn't have those Kiryu powers where she just recovers from bullets <laughs> over the course of like a few days or whatever. Is there no Nope. Nope, nothing over here. Oh, that's the normal elevator access that people would take, but we, I take the stairs constantly, don't I? Is there a, a... I'm just looking around to see if there's like a random gift box lying around. This happened twice already. I don't see one, though. Not here. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's just a neat little upgrade to realize that you can actually just walk out a door from places like that. That used to be loading screens, and it just seamlessly transitions. It's like, ah, oh, they're moving forward. Hopping around in all those different engines and whatnot. Pushing them to their limits. 
All right, so welcome back to Commodore Cho. It's like something blurry, except really big. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, it's so much bigger than Sultan Bori, and it has so many side quests to check out because we got- We might even have like a backlog where there might have been a couple beforehand. I don't think that's the case. I think the game was- was, uh, kind of dragging me around on a leash last time. Uh, so I think I was really restricted and this is my first time being able to wander around here more. So, let's try to get some partners for the Cabaret Club and let's meet up with some colorful characters. Of which there are four on this block. God damn. Okay. This place is busy. The good news is, is that if I do overinvest on putting a lot of time into these side quests, they tend to dry up relatively quickly. Like, so Yakuza 0 had so many subquests, but Yakuza Kiwami had like 70 or something. It looks like that's a the true here. That's the true here. That's the case here. That is true here. Again, it has about 70, and some of these were like five minutes long, whereas some of them can be a whole episode. Uh, we've already soaked up more than 12 of them, so that's that'll move fast. What's up with these guys? Oi! Come on, asshole! You aren't getting away that easy, huh? I, I wasn't trying to get away, Mitsui-san. I, uh... Oh. I have a replacement on the way. How could I forget? <laughs> Silly me. Why don't you gents just wait inside, okay? Stop trying to weasel your way out of this. Uh... Hey! That's the guy! He's my replacement! Excuse me. Well, imagine that. Takasago was telling the truth. And here's our man in the flesh. You're, pl you're playing for him, right? Yeah. That's right, right? You're here to play Mahjong for me, yes? Yeah. Um, I don't even... You're breaking my balls here, man. <laughs> I'd think twice if I were you. Your buddy Takasago here has been in a real bad slump. You pinch hit for him now. You're starting at 1,000 points. Lose even one hand and you're done. A thousand? <laughs> It'd take a Mahjong God to turn the tables now. Sorry, Takasago. But you're dead where you stand. Hell, I'm willing to make this even more interesting. If you win, we'll clear every last yen in this guy's debt. Fat chance, though. Please help me. I'll do anything. I've only really dabbled in Mahjong. Yeah, no fucking kidding. F ah! Oh no. <laughs> How did I walk into this already? But if you don't do this, I'm a goner. What are they gonna do to me when I can't pay up? I'm fucked. Ah. Uh, sure. I'll take a spot. Huh. Got a real heart of gold, buddy. But if I win, you said his cl you'd clear his debt, right? Uh. Sure will. But if you lose, his debt's gonna be go to the ceiling. Please don't lose. Now come on, let's get going. Use the peerless tile? Yes. I don't even know what it does, but I need any advantage I can get. Uh, let's see. Googling Yakuza 2 Kiwami peerless tile. Because I can't look it up in the menus from here, I don't think. <laughs> the first result I get is, uh... The first result I get is, oh god, there's a sub-story about Mahjong. Is <laughs> the first search result. Guess I won't be getting all the sub-stories completed. <laughs> but anyways, once you find a peerless tile, you can use it for a free win in Mahjong. Oh, do I just win immediately? I wonder? Huh. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Oh, it's Sumo. In the first round?
Did I just skip the whole game? Oh my god, they're all negative. Wow. Uh, well, it really does just make you win. That must be a consumable, right? It's gone now? There's no way they let me keep that. that that's such cheap money. Congratulations! That was a fun, that's a fun little animation, and I, it, I got to escape my fear of playing another game of Mahjong this quickly. That's cartoonish. That's, that's hilarious that that works that way. I won fair and square, buddy. No, I didn't. <laughs> what the shit, man? You're like some kind of Mahjong wizard. Yeah, no kidding, right? I came in first, which means you'll clear Takasago's debt, right? Huh? Like hell we will! You'll have to do better than one win to pay off the th what this fool owes us. This bet was your idea, not mine. You can't change the terms after you lose. Don't give me that preachy bullshit, man. Let's take this outside. That's not a good idea. Hold on. I realized what we were playing. I think this guy's Kazuma Kiryu. Huh? Dragon of Dojima. Not a name I choose to go by. But where were we? I believe he said something about taking this outside. Uh, uh, let's get out of here. Sorry for dragging you into this mess. This was actually my first time playing here. I just kind of wandered in and they let me join. I had a pretty good streak going too. I figured I, it couldn't hurt to bet a little larger. But then that's when they turned up the heat. I lost all my winnings. And I was in the hole before I knew it. They played me for a fool, huh? Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's... What's it called? Shit. Is it a ringer? A pool shark? I'm trying to think of, like... Uh, yeah, there's a term for it. For that specific scam of pretending somebody's going to win and then destroying them. It might be ringer. As long as you know better than to fall for it again, I won't be there to help you next time. Yeah. Right. I'm done with gambling. And with Mahjong, I promise. Anyways, thanks for helping me out. Here. Oh, more money for my company. Later. Must find businesses to invest in. That would have been a very long mission if I had not have instantly won it like that. Because holy crap, <laughs> it takes a long time to play a game of Mahjong. That's what we learned. Whether you're good or bad, it seems to just be a very time-consuming minigame across the board. I can take this... that, or I can go this way. I mean, this is a whole building I've never been inside of. Collectibles? Hi, I'm just walking into your place of business, don't mind me. <laughs> Nandoro? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't think he'd be interactive. Everything here is physics? This was- oh god. Oh my god. It's Kiryu, what are they made? What are you made of? You couldn't do this in old games, right? There was always, like, weapon objects, like chairs and shit, but, like... <laughs> uh, uh, I look at another fearless style. <laughs> Great. I'll save that for the next Majima, uh, st the <laughs> Majima, the next, uh, Mahjong side story. Unfortunately, you can't run through doors. That bothers me. I don't mean literally run through doors, I mean, like, run into the door and then the door slams open. It's very... Nice feature when it's in games. I, nope, can't go on the roof. Never mind. Is this where the... It's where I was before, but I haven't been in this room. <laughs> that was the funniest shit. <laughs> well, Kiryu. Kiryu, what are you made of? How do you do these things? Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's Majima. Majima everywhere did this to me. <laughs> Come on. Gotta get that maximum loot. They gave me a peerless tile already. It's definitely worth looking around. Is that the same guy? 
Because that's where he ran to. Like they already gave me a peerless tile. That's a free win for a Mahjong game. That means I, th I think that means I can go into like, let's play hard mode and then just win the game and get a bunch of money. Oh, I walked into the back of a restaurant. Hi. Hi. Ooh. Just a plate. Atmosphere. Oh, hey there, handsome. He's on his phone. Flip phone. Yeah, there was a flip phone in the last cutscene, too. Is this... We're still not... Yeah, I guess, I guess we're not at smartphones yet. I forget when this game takes place, but I think we're in the... Late 90s, early 2000s or something. Like, just on the cusp. Right around the time I was getting my first cell phone. I had a razor. That thing was indestructible. I need to find the Camarocho lockers. This is a thing that needs to be resolved. Can I just walk out here into the street? Yeah. Now I'm just in some alley somewhere. Oh my god. There's so many places to walk around in. I'm exploring. Let's take out these Donkey Kong barrels with my amazing... Uh, oh, that was full of wine, wasn't it? I just destroyed their business. Uh, Please forgive me? Let's see, this is a restaurant. Here, I'll just give them business by ordering something here. Hi. Hi there. Cafe Alps. Oh, I, rec I recognize this place. The Neapolitan Original Beef Curry. Strawberry Parfait. I can do like 10 more. Do a Earl Grey Tea. Mocha, blended coffee. Mocha and Earl Grey. Boom, jam it all in me. No combo, you suck. What was the barrel? What was that? What was that barrel full of? I wonder. After seeing what they actually serve here, I'm not sure. Million Hit Studio, will you be my partner? I don't know how to find partners. This is hard. Is there a key? Ooh, you can toggle street names. There's a location list. You can put a pin down if you want. Can you put only one pin at a time? Where am I? Oh, there I am. You should- wow, you're white. Uh, maybe pick a different color. Does not stand out. So there should be a quest right over here. Wow, this is a very different neighborhood than where I was before. It's kind of a trip to see. Oh yeah? I haven't been in a fight for a while. Here, a bike. I found one. Oh shit. Oh, he's got- a, he's got- okay, nope. Nope. You feeling all right? Ooh, golf club. Got my golf club and all that mess. All right. Oh, now she's scared. It's all right. I just was destroying. I was just taking out the trash. It's fine. Excuse me. Aren't you Kazuma Kiryu-san? Yeah, that's me. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. I am Su Suenaga, the headmistress of Sunflower Orphanage. Wait, Sunflower? Isn't that where you're from? Kazuma-san built that orphanage. Nishiki, me, Yumi, and later Haruka. We all grew up there. Is this about Haruka? Is having her there causing you any trouble? Trouble? Oh, no. Quite the opposite. If anything, the orphanage is never so bright as when she's around. That's a relief. But if you don't mind me at my asking, what happened to the old caretaker? Oh. He was having a spot of health trouble. So he made the difficult decision to move back with his family in the country. I've taken over in his absence. I see. What brings you out of the city? This isn't the safest part of town. Oh, well, I'm ashamed to admit to you of all people, but money's been getting tight lately. After Kazuma's son passed, things have been getting difficult, to say the least. I'm sorry to hear that. Kashiwagi-san stepped in as our benefactor, but despite his best efforts, he's just too busy to spare us much attention. 
I know this is a lot to ask of you, sir. But if you have any love for the orphanage still, do you think you could assist us with the occasional do donation? Hmm. I owe everything to Sunflower and Kazuma-san. I can't promise I'll be much help, but I'll certainly contribute what I can. You will? Oh, thank you so much. I make regular trips to Kamarocho to pick things up, so you can talk to me anytime you'd like to make a donation. Or if it's more convenient, you can use any ATM in, in a, a convenience store around town to wire us. Uh. That sounds easy enough. Just out of curiosity, how much do you think you'll need? Well, no amount would be too large, but I think somewhere in the ballpark of 50,000 yen would keep us afloat as far as basic living expenses go. Got it. Thank you again, Kiryu-san. Supporting Sunflower. I spent that much on somebody's hair earlier. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. So Inaga needs 50k to help uh, keep the orphanage up and running. I should donate when I can, like right now. Hey there, Soenaga-san. I have some money for you. Oh, Kiryu-san, that's great news. Simply wonderful. Boom, double it. You're too kind, Kiryu-san. I can't state enough how much of a help you are to these children. Thank you. You donated 100,000 yen. That's double what she asked for. Uh, why is it still listed as a return to Soenaga? Hmm. Soenaga-san, is something wrong? Oh, Kiryu-san. You see, the orphanage recently took in this boy about Haruka's age. His name is Hayato-kun. He's a troubled child, and he's not made a single friend yet. I'm quite worried about him. It can be tough to acclimate to an orphanage situation. The other kids are treating him well, right? They're doing their best, but he makes it a point to keep their distance. They can only do so much. You were an orphan once, Kiryu-san. Do you have any suggestions? Find something he's interested in. Maybe you could figure out something he's interested in. Huh. Yes. I suppose that might make him open up a bit. I suppose... I wonder what that could be. Did you get any details when you took him in? Where he's from? What his hobbies are? Anything? Well, apparently he did. He used to take care of the class pet at his old school. It's supposed... It's possible he has a soft spot for animals. Sounds like that's your answer. But, but, we don't have any pets at Sunflower. Well, that won't do. Hmm. How the hell do I get you a pet? Where could I possibly find a pet? I guess I need to find some sort of lead on how to get a pet and then come back later. Ah! Hayato-kun. From Haruka. Hi, Uncle Kaz. The headmistress told me about your idea for helping Hayato-kun. Do you remember the puppy we saved last year? I was thinking we could find him and bring him to Sunflower. What do you think? Find the dog? It's not a bad idea, actually. Wonder what became of the little guy. Well, I bet the guys from Purgatory could track down a dog. I'll give Mosuga a call. We took one step and immediately had a call already. They talk fast in this age. Hello? Hey, Mogusa. This is Kiryu. Ah, Kiryu-san. Not a man I expect to get a call from. What's going on? Actually, Haruko and I let a dog loose in the city last year before we left. You didn't have to keep track of it, did you? Keep track of it? I kept the little guy. You did? Well, would you be willing to part with him for some kids? They need a pet at Sunflower Orphanage. Oh, ain't that the orphanage Haruko grew up at? That's the one. Would you be willing? Or would you get too attached? Well, for you, curious son For the kids. And for this little guy's happiness, I'll do it. Meet me at the theater. Thanks, Mogusa. See you there. Hey, we're doing a whole subquest that's like follow-up on the story of the previous game. And the origin of our entire character and so on. This is neato. Meet up with Mogusa at the theater. Oh yeah, right up there. I gotta remind myself, I got a whole map to relearn here. Both because it's been like a while since the last game and because it's been a while since I was here even in this game. We've been hanging out in a whole new map. 
Hey, dude, hey. I'm gonna get you. Oh, the coin lockers. Uh, I don't have as many keys as I thought I did. That's embarrassing. <laughs> locker watcher, locker key, locker key watch. That's a big deal. Silver plate. A hundred pound bowling ball. Uh, that's a very heavy bowling ball. That's distressing a little bit. Uh. Device that makes a sound whenever a locker key is nearby. Okay. I got that now. And we're right by the theater. And people keep trying to assault me. What a day to be alive. Uh. Huh. Almost had like an Expendables vibe, but the like demographics of the people on the cover were all weird for that. Uh. Hi. Mm -hmm.